official accounting firm of Ernst & Young have verified these results. It's time to reveal our top 10. The first to move forward in the competition is South Africa. I'm studying medicine. I'm a second medical student. Studying medicine, you come face to face with this fine line between life and death. And I think that teaches you how to appreciate life so much more. It teaches you to show love and be compassionate. We need better quality medical care for everyone. Because working in the hospitals, I've seen that in our clinics or in our rural areas, not everybody is treated the same. I definitely want to work in health the rest of my life. And it requires someone who is really passionate about it to do a good job at being a doctor. And I think I've been blessed with those skills, so I have to use it, it's my responsibility. South Africa. Also entering the next round is... Vietnam. Hen sinh ra trong một gia đình sáu anh chị em à, Với cái phong tục tập quán của người à, Ed thì à, Năm 14 tuổi thì ba mẹ kêu Hen lấy chồng Nhưng mà Hen nói rằng là Hen không Hen không thể lấy chồng trong thời điểm này Sau khi đăng quang Hoa hậu Hoàn Vũ 2010, 2017 của tôi Thì tôi đã dành hết số tiền thưởng của mình cho các em à, Tôi đã mở một thư viện ở một nơi vùng sâu vùng xa luôn à, thư viện này là thư viện thanh thiện Vietnam earning the third spot is Venezuela Soy estudiante del quinto semestre de Derecho. Decidí estudiar Derecho porque siempre me ha llamado la atención esta carrera. Creo que es una carrera que me puede ayudar a tener un alcance, a aportar algo a mi país, a aportar algo a las personas que más lo necesitan hoy en día. Mi familia es muy grande, repleta de mujeres y de unos chiquitos que alegran nuestras vidas. Todos los fines de semana mi abuela hacía empanadas. Yo, ¿cómo estás? Mis tías y yo la ayudábamos a hacer y vender las empanadas. Ellas me enseñaron que el trabajo es lo que más nos dignifica y que a pesar de las adversidades podemos salir, salir adelante. Venezuela. Still in the running is... Once I started the music, it just was fulfilling in a way that everything else wasn't. My mom told me that even when I was in the womb, like I was dancing along to music. <laughs> I'm an only child, very, very close to my parents, especially my dad. He would always say the longest journey starts with a single step. When you have a dream or an ambition and it's so far away and it's so high up, you can feel overwhelmed. But when you look at it as just one step at a time, one day you're going to look up from your feet and you'll be at your destination. So that's a piece of advice from my dad that I feel I'm going to apply in my whole life. <laughs> Philippines. Moving one step closer to the crown is... Costa Rica! When I was 17, I had an eating disorder. It almost ruined my life. You get so much pressure and you spend so much time looking for approval from the outside that you don't understand that the only approval you need to be happy is the one you have to give yourself. 
And I think one of the things that really helped me like get through this was this beautiful relationship I developed with nature. Being out there in the middle of the jungle and just seeing how simple life is. I think that if you develop a healthy relationship with nature, you get to live a healthier, happier life. Costa Rica. Stepping into the sixth spot is... Curacao. I believe in the quote, each one, teach one, and everything I learn, I want to teach back to others. Say hi, Angie. A volunteer with kids with Down syndrome, I am here to be the voice for Down syndrome and any other kids and people with a disability. I am pursuing a bachelor's degree in English teaching, and I am about to become a school teacher. My ultimate goal in life is just to be a Keisha, be myself in every single situation in life. Curacao. Also advancing to the next round is... a bachelor's degree in public health. College was a little challenging for me because I didn't have the financial means. I worked two jobs and was a full-time student and a honor roll student. So I'm proud to be a first-generation college graduate who also financed her own education. <laughs> My goal in life is to become a lawmaker. Women are not that well represented when it comes to being in a decision-making position. We only see men. And I want more women to be in those positions so that women's uh, issues are heard and they're addressed. So I want to be a lawmaker. <laughs> Nepal. Just three spots left. Earning the next one is... I was five and a half years old. My father left. It was just me and my mom. We didn't have any money, but we ended up persevering, and it definitely helped build my character. What really inspired me to pursue biomedical engineering is my mother. She is also an engineer, and I saw her struggle in her career because there was a lot of discrimination going on towards women in engineering at that time, and I wanted to be the one to break that stigma. Shattering glass ceilings feels absolutely spectacular. I hope that I can be an example and show that you can do whatever you set your mind to. Canada. Locking down the ninth spot is... Thailand! I am working as an investment banking manager. My work role is to give a company a plan and strategy for they want to invest in solar energy. Many times people don't know who am I, what is my goal, what is the purpose of being here. That's why I set up the project called Unlock and Wrap. Everyone has power to empower. Many people say they have a fear in their heart. Those fears lead to a lack of self-confidence, which is number one obstacle of every woman. I want to unlock those people from fear all over the world. Eleven women are still hoping to hear their names called, but only one spot remains in the top ten. The last contestant to make it into the next round is... Puerto Rico! With 
celebrate everything in Puerto Rico. We are very happy people. We help each other. And Puerto Rican people, they keep working hard. And we are resilient. It was the Hurricane Maria that hit us last year. It was a very hard moment for Puerto Rico. We were very scared because we didn't know what will happen with us. We lost many lives. We lost houses. We lost our jobs. But we're still here. Puerto Rico will get stronger. We all have to work together. Puerto Rico! Let's hear it for our top 10 finalists. Each of these outstanding women have risen above the rest, and now they're set to battle it out for the Miss Universe title. When we come back, we're going head-to-head -head in the swimsuit competition. The crown is on the line. This is Miss Universe, live on Fox.